Hi, and welcome to Yoga with Cheryl. This practice will be a 15 to 20 minute breathing and meditation practice completely done seated. You don't need to come onto the floor. You are welcome to sit in a chair in your living room, um, anywhere that you can get comfortable. Just want to make sure that you have an uplifted spine and an open heart in whichever position that you take. And beginning with this idea or this attitude of heartfelt compassion for yourself. So take a couple of moments here to get comfortable. Don't try to achieve a particular look or a shape other than to keep the heart space open. The palms can rest. You can have them actually sitting on a cushion for some that helps to release some of the pulling or the drawdown of the shoulders. And if it feels comfortable for you, I'll invite you to close your eyes very lightly. And if that causes or increases any anxiety, just perhaps gaze down past your nose, just through a slit in your eyes. Taking good care that as you're gazing down, you're not collapsing forward. You want to start to bring the attention inwards. This particular practice may be beneficial if you've been experiencing anxiety or some other difficult emotions that you keep trying to push away. Recognizing that there is a place for therapy and there is a place for yoga, breathing, and meditation. And if you're a person that has is prone to psychotic breaks or psychiatric issues, this may not be the practice for you. You may want to consult with your healthcare professional. So with either your eyes closed or your gaze downturned and your heart lifted, start to feel the surface below you, be that a cushion or the chair. Notice how it supports you and how through its support you can allow yourself to sit tall but not rigid. And if the feet are on the ground, ensure that they're flat on the floor or supported on a cushion so you're not straining your back. Start to feel into the breath just as it is. When we experience anxiety or high levels of stress, our breathing is often very shallow and it can be held up near our collarbones. So see if that's the case with you. Your body may be inclined to breathe very shallow, especially if you're kind of in that fight or flight mode. So we recognize where the breath is in order to see where we can take it, how we might be able to open it to benefit our release, our sense of calm. If the breath is staying in the upper third of your lungs, begin to invite it to take up more space in your lungs. And notice how we tend to focus on the lungs in the front of the body and see if you can envision your lungs three-dimensionally like a balloon and recognize that you can guide the breath into the front, the sides, and the back of the body. If you find it helpful, you can even bring your hands forward almost to symbolize your hands encircling the outside of a balloon. 
and on the in-breath, as you bring air into the lungs, that bloom would expand so your hands would slightly draw apart. And as the breath leaves that balloon or your body, the hands would slightly contract in as the body empties with breath. Sometimes this visualization or this connection to the movement with the hands can help. You may continue with your hands or release them down, keeping the awareness of the breath through the circumference of your lungs. Instead of the idea of breathing down into your belly, I really want you to today just allow yourself to feel and experience the rib cage expanding and contracting very easily with your breath. It will naturally draw down. Each time your mind wanders away, bring it back to feeling the breath through the circumference of your lungs. Keeping the shoulders relaxed, the facial muscles relaxed. And taking good care not to force or try to do it your best. Have a sense of ease to this, a rhythm. A sense of expansion as you breathe in and contraction of the rib cage as you breathe out. Allow that breath to continue as it is. Recognize what brought you to this practice. Is there something that has been tugging at you? Something that you've been pushing away but keeps coming back? Something that you've been trying to avoid? Or is it a recognition of a sense of anxiety or fear. The first thing we do is recognize. Recognize those feelings. And if you have multiple feelings, choose to work with just one. You may name it. It's actually very helpful for us to name what we're feeling. Maybe it's sadness. Let's really pinpoint one emotion that you'd like to work with today that may be challenging. And allow yourself to feel it. Sometimes we get into these attitudes of pushing away, thinking that we shouldn't be feeling something. For this particular practice, adopt the attitude of the way out is through. And to move through, we must first recognize what we're working with.
Now that you've named your emotion, see if your breath has changed. If it has, regulate it once again. If it has become shallow, allow it to expand. And if your in-breath is longer than your out-breath, encourage it to be the other way. Encourage more length to your exhalation to aid in the release. So you've recognized the emotion, the difficult emotion you're working with today. Now allow yourself to feel it. If you feel like crying, allow yourself to cry. And taking this from the head space into the space of the body, what is the felt sense of this particular emotion? Does the body feel tight or resistant? when you allow this motion to be recognized. That may be the case initially. Remember we're here with compassion. We're here with an open heart and we're here with the understanding that sometimes things are difficult. And if at any time this particular practice becomes too much you open your eyes, come back to simply focusing on breathing. And then try again another day. So now you're regulating the breath and recognizing that emotion that you're dealing with and feeling it in the body. Look right at it. Don't avoid. And notice as you do so, and you adopt this attitude of compassion and an open heart, how it can begin to soften. that it doesn't have its rigid form that perhaps we gave it. We recognize that it's not as solid as it may have first felt. Allow yourself to breathe through this emotion. Know that each out-breath is helping it to dissipate, to release. Not due to avoidance, the result of looking right at it, acknowledging it, and moving through it. Some people visualize their emotions as a dark color, maybe black smoke, dark smoke. And just like smoke, when you breathe a breath through it, it dissolves. Begin to offer more heartfelt space. And begin to envision light.
light and breath supporting you in this hard work. You may feel that light coming in through your crown, breaking up the dark. You might feel it surrounding you, permeating you. Noticing how the difficult emotion has become a little bit easier to manage or see or to hold with loving awareness. Feeling yourself bathed in light. So that you're no longer the recipient of this light only. But now also the giver of light. To yourself. And this light shining so bright that its rays of light extend out beyond your body, each breath expanding it. Expanding out beyond the body into the room in which you sit. And it continues to extend and expand. And there is a sense not only of lightness as in terms of bright and warmth, but also a lightness to your being. In recognition of taking care of yourself. Knowing that difficult emotions are part of life. We offer less resistance, accepting the feeling and then choosing to move through it. Recognize your own resilience. Begin to feel back into the physical form. Feel the breath moving the lungs. Feel the rib cage gently rising and falling with that rhythm of breath.
Now take your left hand and place it on your chest, feeling that breath rise and fall gently, rhythmically. Place the right hand on top of the left. Feel this connection to yourself. Recognize your resilience, your ability to address difficult feelings and experiences. And thank yourself for gifting yourself this practice and for doing the hard work. And as your hands remain here, offering yourself this wish, this prayer, this mantra, may I be well. May I experience more ease. May I be released of suffering. May I be well. May I experience more ease. May I be released of suffering. May I be well. May I experience more ease. May I be released of suffering. And when you're ready, slowly opening your eyes and releasing your hands. Thank you for taking care of yourself. Until next time.